exciting. Now, I've never fished here on a Monday. I normally fish here on a Friday, and there's usually quite a lot going on, a lot of people here, but I've got a feeling being a Monday, maybe not too many boats coming out, who knows? We'll soon find out. I'm going to set up three rods today. I'm going to have two floating setups. Uh, one I'm going to fish a washing line, something like a fab or a blob on point, and um, I'm going to try a couple of killer shrimp droppers. Then on one of the other floating setups, I'm going to have um, a beaded shrimp on the point, so it takes it down. Possibly a couple of dial backs or crunches on the droppers, and then I'm going to have an intermediate setup. And with that, I'm going to uh, fish some lures. <clears throat> Something like cat's whiskers and snakes and the like. Um, see how that works out. So on my seven weight, I've got my little graze reel. Functional, really good little reel. Uh, it's got the Rio gold line casts really well it's a nice line it has very little memory as well which is good some of my other lines do tend to have quite a bit of memory in them to start with and you have to work that out <coughs> so I've got three Gray's GR60 rods this being a 7 weight the other two are 8 weights 10 foot all of them and uh, I will now get those set up and come back once I have. Just checking this out, just to give me an idea where to head and what to try. Also got my full fish catch and release. <clears throat> and as well as that, I've got a map of the reservoir with all the different points because very often I'm told to go to a particular point in the reservoir and I think well I don't actually know the names of all the points but I've picked up a little map today so off we go any advice yeah fly go I heard that bit but I presume uh, you predator fishing are you uh, yeah I'm obviously trout today so uh, north shore definitely along the north shore yeah from the tower drifting down certainly to Gee Boy. Uh -huh. um, last week when it was really blowing, yeah. the trout were on the dam. So okay. the one part of the lake you couldn't really get to because it was blowing too too down. strong was it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, certainly from the tower down to Gee Boy it's been going well. Yeah. Um, right, I just check that I haven't left anything. I got that. I got that. I normally get across and then think, what have I left in the car? Um, I've got a landing net. One of the boats just went out. Uh huh. They went out. They got a couple hundred yards out. Uh huh. And they come back. I forgot to put the trawling motor on. Oh, nice. It was just sitting there, was it? <laughs> all right. Okay. They're yeah. Two grand plus. Oh, is that all? Just, just so. Ah, you can get another one. Um, right, I suppose I should have started my motor before I got out here, shouldn't I, really? Um, that is on there. Right, see you later. Really quite a nice morning at the moment. That grebe. Now that's a fisherman, aren't you? What a pretty bird. Right, I've got a nice noisy engine today. It sounds like their baffle's gone or something. Here's my map. Um, the aeration tower is there. I am effectively just in this little bay here. It's a hill bay farm. Um, I'm going to basically work my way down here. So I'm going to 
come right the way down probably ending somewhere here we'll maybe do a few drifts but um, if they're saying a lot of the fish are in uh, shallow probably concentrate on that unless it completely just doesn't work so I've just set up my second GoPro here so I use this little grip mount um, so I can get the two different viewpoints obviously I don't have the luxury of having a cameraman and all the fancy gear so you get what you get um, but like I say I'm gonna start here using washing line with shrimps to start with um, and then if that doesn't work I'll go to probably washing line again with dial backs and crunches and I'll probably chuck a lure or two as well hopefully that's about right we'll soon have that So anyone new to my videos, I'll just explain a little bit about me uh, as far as fishing goes. I started fish when I was about eight years of age, course fishing, had a little seven foot rod, my pride and joy. I used to spend most of my free time away from school by a lake or a river somewhere my little rod my little seven foot rod i used to catch all sorts up to the biggest pike i caught on it was 14 and a half pounds when i was 10 on a spinner and um my good grief did i think i'd caught the biggest fish that had ever been my uncle who lives in or lived in wales in cardiff he was an avid fly fisherman i mean lived breathed and it was just everything to him tied his own flies made his own split split cane rods um was very 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 into his fly fishing and uh, when i was in cardiff staying with my grant he took me to a reservoir called i think it was called clinician reservoir in cardiff and uh, taught me how to fly fish and gave me a little i've still got it seven foot rod probably about a three weight or a four weight it is um super light rod very basic reel and um over a week while i was there taught me how to cast and when i say taught me how to cast i know there's casting and casting basic casting single haul able to get out and I caught my first few rainbow trout in this reservoir which I absolutely loved. It's bay round. Got the jogue out that should slow me down quite nicely. Initially I'm gonna crack on with the intermediate and the um, couple of lures and just see if I can pick something up doing that initially to start with. As we approach that other shore I'll go on to the shrimp and fish the washing line probably. At least doing this drifting, I know I'm covering a fair bit of water. Whether I'm presenting the right bait or not, I say bait, right fly, remains to be seen. I'm going to fish it, like I say, relatively deep. I'm going to let this sink fairly. Just got a feeling that the fish are deeper just because I have seen nothing up top. Don't get into too many tangles. Have a bit of this going now. Move that 
anchor because that's going to be a bit of a tangle hazard I think otherwise. I'm never quite sure when I'm doing these drifts, obviously you are in the middle of nowhere, I have no idea of the depth, no idea, I presume it's just a case of you wait until you hit a pocket of fish, because um, I would imagine a lot of the area that I'm fishing there is nothing in it, but I suppose it's um, a case of hopefully you drift across those fish eventually, find that one marauding hungry trout and happy days oh got one good grief that was totally static and i just thought the rod is moving around what's going on that's nice okay into a fish great quite a nice one in excess of a couple of pounds that was like I say quite interesting because I was just letting it um, sink looked around my rod tip sort of just banged against that other camera and I couldn't understand why my rod tip was moving unaided all right well putting the drogue out and doing a drift would appear to be the right ploy Like I say, always nice to feel that first fish on and uh, even nicer if I can get it into the net. And for the minute, he's gone um, quite deep. He's just plodding. Give me a chance to get some of my line back on the reel. Yeah, he's really just sitting there now. I've got a feeling he'll be making another run or two in a minute. Let's get this net ready. Try and get ahead of the game. I wasn't sure which fly he's taking on, whether he's taking that black snake, booby snake or whatever. Snake booby, booby snake. Or if it was... Um, Cat's whisker. Cat's whisker it is. Quite a nice fish. Easily a couple of pounds, maybe a little bit more. Certainly got a bit of go in him. Water's fairly clear here. I think he's getting to that point, although maybe he doesn't realise that. Right, down he goes again. Beautiful day. It's all fairly crisp, but you can feel a bit of heat in the sun now. The wind is fairly cold, so I've got my hoodie up just because I was getting an earache earlier. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes, and we're there. Okay, so a long fish, quite lean. Hooks come out, that's handy. Just as right, get the pressure on. Sorry buddy, but you're coming home with me. Sort of fin damage or what have you, nice fish. And then we have some supper. Do like a bit of rainbow trout, it really goes down well. I'm working my way down towards the dam. I'm gonna end up at a place called the Willows. Eventually, I've just set the drogue out again. Gonna have another drift, see what's what. The only method I've had any joy with so far was an inter intermediate line, fishing a lure, quite, quite a rapid retrieve. 
otherwise nothing <coughs> uh, but we shall persevere hopefully find something that really works that is the willows just over there got my drogue out I'm gonna drift down towards the dam and then I'm gonna put my anchor out in about 100 yards and just fish static for a little while when I was here two no, six weeks ago every time I bought my anchor up over there it was absolutely riddled with killer shrimp and I mean riddled so I intend to fish the killer shrimp I will try my lures down there as well because I've just got a feeling with those weed beds some nice weed beds down there that's prime fishy territory it really has been hard work today it's always nice when you're getting sort of takes even if you're losing if you're getting thumps and knocks and little takes and whatever but I've had one fish two more proper actual takes a couple of which may or may not have been but two which were proper thumps and that's my lot and it's now I just think caught two I started fishing proper it was probably about nine o'clock so it has not come easy and I really thought it was going to be switched on today you won't be able to see this on the GoPro but you can probably hear it on the GoPro almost directly above me is a Spitfire it's now in the middle of a loop the loop don't know if I'm getting this or not but if you can't see it you can certainly hear it wow number of times I come here and you get your own air show look at that jeez stunning wow me this is the method that I'm going to persevere with now because it's definitely the method that is getting me a bit of interest right let's try that again and see if we can finally hook one of these fish because that's I've had at least four that I've seen following it I've had three or four proper takes see what that does oh look at that trout look at it look at it look at it I'm being followed not every go but so many of these fish are following I don't know if I should go on something smaller I won't say it's every go but I, I'm getting a lot of follows here I just don't know quite what else you're supposed to do aha to get them to take and that's what you're supposed to do. One fly seems to be the way to go. Ooh, that's nice. Now I've had to switch to my GoPro 4 now. Oh, don't go into the drogue. Please, buddy. There he goes, under the boat. So, I'm uh, standing on my line. Wow! He is really going for it. What I might need to do is put the anchor over the side so I don't go straight down into that guy who is now on my drift. Well, I don't think it's coincidence that as soon as I went to a single fly, I had one more follow and then next cast a take. So I'm going to do a few of these drifts and hopefully have a few nice fish. This is certainly putting up a good account for himself. Nice fish. A couple of pounds. moment um, a bit like that let's just take your time 
site. Not much sure anything else I want to catch him before I go into that bloke. Right, let me keep his head up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Jesus, man. That is actually a nice fish. I think that's getting on three pounds, that one. That's better. Having had a long time with very little actual action. Yeah, that's three pounds. Oh yeah, good three pounds. He's a nice fish. go. I just thought I'd try casting the opposite direction. I haven't cast behind the boat at all today. I just thought I'll chuck it back there. Ooh, off he goes. Little head shaker. <clears throat> I'll keep as much line as I can on the reel just because this line is near invisible and I'll end up treading on it. Before you know it, I'll have a right hook tangle. He's cruising. I think he's going to wake up and go again in a minute. He might be able to get his head up. number three and the best one yet I think or oh, pretty similar to the last one quite a long fish good three pounds maybe three and a half that one actually Oops. lovely jubbly well, that was hard work. Yeah. God, yeah. Other people catching it. I caught three in the end, but oh my good grief. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So people are catching. Uh huh. As you say, everybody's saying it's hard work. Yeah. Another successful day. I was just talking to a couple of guys, predator fishermen, and um, they caught a couple of Xander, 11 pounds, which is rather nice. I might well come back and give that a go myself. Anywho, that's it for now. <laughs>